the corridor at the Mahakal corridor, the Prime Minister looking at these all, this is the Saptrishi uh, that he is looking at, 108 ornate pillars have been made, intricately carved sandstone and that massive shivling right at the entrance. You have a Nandi Dwar and a Pinaki Dwar here. Also joining me on India today is author Sai Swarupa Iyer. Um, Sai Swarupa Iyer, when you look at the Mahakal Corridor, is this, is this in a way future generations getting to know about our rich cultural heritage or is this much, much more than that, ma'am? Uh, very much, uh, Gauravji. As uh, just now, Amishji very beautifully elucidated uh, uh, Ujjain is just not just the religious, uh, just of religious significance. It has intellectual, it has scientific, it has cultural, and it has civilizational significance. Uh, one of the princesses of Ujjain during the Mahabharata period, Princess Mitravinda, was married to Lord Krishna. And, uh, you know, Dwaraka is just next door to Somnath, which is uh, another great Jyotirlinga. And Ujjain has a great Jyotirlinga. And Ujjain also is the home of a Shakti Pitha. I am a practicing Shakta. Uh, it's, a, uh, it's a home to the Shakti Pitha of Mahakali. And uh, I see uh, the civilizational uh, bounds of India as this, uh, you know, collection of uh, Jyotirlingas and Shakti Pitha. So it is such a wonderful... Uh, feeling to see this uh, whole corridor being renovated, uh, you know, be, being constructed and uh, it's definitely a great opportunity for the young generation to get a peek into India's past glory because Gupta age, Ujjain was the capital of the Guptas and uh, Gupta, uh, you know, Gupta age was the golden era of yes. India. It is still called the golden age of India. So. To, uh, to actually get a peek into that golden age, I think this corridor is a wonderful example, Gauravji. And when you talk about that golden age, it wasn't just to do uh, with being militarily strong or economically strong. It had a lot more to do with being spiritually strong and the scientific knowledge, the education that, that people spoke of, ma'am. Exactly. So uh, the Hindu way of life, uh, civilizationally, it has purusharthas, dharma, artha, kama, moksha. So if we can, uh, you know, categorize, if we are to roughly categorize, uh, you know, all uh, that you say, spoke about the, the military, I would categorize it as uh, artha, partly as a dharma and partly as artha, because, uh, you know, it's a power and, you know, the commercial power is something I would uh, you know, classify as artha and the arts, the finer aspects of uh, the life that used to uh, grace that period is the kama and as you rightly pointed out, spirituality, the moksha part is also defined but, uh, you know, but before all this comes dharma and uh, maintaining the religious sites as well as uh, you know, growing them so that uh, the younger generation uh, I mean, if I can actually narrate a past incident of mine uh, around, uh, you know, the six, seven, no, more than 10 years ago, my visit to Varanasi was a bit of a disappointment because Kashi was the most ancient city of India and the yes. state of affairs there uh, in 2013, I guess, for the Kumbha, you know, uh, this one. It, and it, was, it really pained me because, uh, you know, that's uh, Kashi is a dear city to all of us. And... Uh, the uh, you know the corridor there now has totally changed the face of Kashi and uh, similar things happening at Ujjain and uh, hopefully at other places like Amishji recounted is uh, something which will bind Indians together. It indeed will. That's an interesting point that you make, uh, Sai Swarupa Yarji, that this is something that will bind Indians together like perhaps it did over centuries when the Mahakumbh, uh, the greatest congregation of people, and we'll talk about it in just a moment, but I want to be on these images for some time. Sure. Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh, Shivrat Singh Chauhan, is showing certain images to Prime Minister Narendra Modi uh, from the life of um, Adi Yogi Bhagwan Shiv.
कैसे आप अध्यात्म के जरिए अपने आप को जोड़ पाते हैं वो इसमें शिव नेत्र और शिव के विवाह के जो प्रसंग हैं उनके माध्यम से भगवान शिव के लोक में आपको ले जाने की तैयारी करता हुआ ये महाकाल का लोक जिसमें आप शिव नृत्य के साथ साथ ग्यारह रुद्र उनके महेश्वर अवतार भगवान शिव के अघोर अवतार ये आप देखें विष्पान अमृत मंथन के बाद जो विष्पान के दृष्टार भगवान श्री गणेश और कार्तिके के साथ जो पार्वती जिसका जिक्र हमारे साथ ही अश्विनी जी कर रहे थे कि शिव वाटिका का निर्माण किया गया है तो यहाँ पर चार वाटिकाएं बनाई गई हैं जिसका हम आपको लगातार उसके बारे में बताते रहेंगे और इस महाकाल लोक में 11 फीट की 17 प्रतिमाएं स्थापित की गई हैं जिसमें प्रवेश द्वार पर आपने देखा भगवान श्री गणेश उसके बाद अर्धनारीश्वर अष्ट भैरव ऋषि भारद्वाज वशिष्ठ विश्रामित्र गौतम कश्यप जमदक जो आपने सप्तर्षि के जो मूर्तियां देखी वो शामिल हैं